This is Bluefinger's QI uh, charging power bank. Uh, this is uh, a 10,000 milliamp capability. Uh, included here with the power bank, uh, which you can see here, are the instructions, a wall adapter for charging the power bank, and then a, the uh, uh, micro USB cable that you can either use for charging the uh, power bank or for plugging in uh, USB devices. Uh, this is the first combination power bank that I've tested and reviewed, and I, I like the flexibility of this device where you can put a QI capable device. Uh, I have a phone that's QI capable that you can place on charge on top to charge, or you can also use the USB port here in front uh, and charge as well. Uh, so I like the flexibility as it allows for one less cable to take on the road if you have a QI capable phone. Um, the power bank is made of a, pla a white plastic, uh, which I'm not crazy about. It kind of tends to make it give it a, uh, a budget feel, uh, but it does appear to be well enough and, and has, you know, it's lightweight, but has, uh, you know, a little bit of weight to it, but it's lightweight. It seems to be well, well made overall. There are six on the side here, six LED lights that indicate power and, and the charging level of the device and the amount of battery level it has left in it. Um, and then on the front here, there's the on off switch, which is there, the USB, and then the micro charging port. Um, the power on the device, you have to hold, uh, the power button down for three to five seconds. And let me look at that. And the lights come on there. Uh, but the instructions also indicate that you can hold it for three to five seconds to shut off. And I found that not to be the case. So I don't know if this means this particular device is defective or whether it's just inaccuracy in the instructions that indicate that you can power this off. I do wish it had the ability to power that off, though. I don't like the fact that you have to wait for the automatic shutoff, because uh, I'll leave that turn just like that, because it takes a few minutes for those for that to shut back off on its automatic shutoff. So, again, I don't like the fact that you can't power that off. However, when you plug in a USB uh, device into the charging station, into a power bank, um, you don't have to power it on, which is also not indicated in the instructions. Uh, it automatically turns itself on and starts charging whatever you plug in. Charging via the QI-capable uh, phone worked as it should. Charging via the US port worked for all devices except for my older BlackBerry phone that I have. Uh, which tends to give some power banks issues, uh, and it did this one. Uh, for, you know, for all the devices it, it was compatible, it, charging worked as it should. And since it has a 10,000 milliamp capacity, you can charge, uh, several devices, uh, before needing a recharge. Um, overall, I like the flexibility this diet device gives, but it's not perfect. The instructions are inaccurate with some of the things. The power switch, as you can see, is still on automatic here and still not turning off. Uh, the, the power switch will not turn off as the instructions indicate. You have to rely on the automatic shutoff. The white plastic case kind of gives us a budget level feel and it won't charge older devices such as my Blackberry. I really like the QI capability of, of the device, but the problems kind of keep me from giving this a higher rating. I give it three and a half stars.